Everybody, it's Jenny and today I'm sharing a sneak peek for the new July release from Miss Ink Stamps. For my card today I'm going to be using one of the newest additions to the Magic Collection from Miss Ink Stamps and it includes this cute little elf character with some additional images including some socks and a cake and some birthday sentiments. Also available are the coordinating dies which I'll be using for my card as well. So to get started on my card today, I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the elf image with the cake and the cake stand. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that out onto some 80 pound cardstock with some Copic friendly ink. Next, I'll go ahead and color those images in with some Copic markers. Then I'll use the coordinating dies to trim them out. Next up, I'm going to create a wallpaper background for my scene using the Leafy Swirl stencil and some antique linen Distress Oxide. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink up that stencil onto some cream colored cardstock. Next, I'm going to bring in some craft cardstock and some ground espresso distress oxide, and I'm just going to add a little splatter to give it a little extra texture. For my wallpaper pattern, I'm going to go ahead and trim down my cardstock into strips. For this leafy swirls pattern, I'm trimming this down to half inch strips. And then for my speckled craft cardstock, I'm gonna trim that down to about an eighth inch. And off screen for that final piece of round cardstock, I just trimmed out a couple of tiny slivers. Next, I took an A2 size piece of white cardstock and glued down all my strips. For my scene, I'm going to have my characters stand on the floor, so I trimmed out another piece of tan cardstock as well as a quarter inch strip of white cardstock to look like the trim where the floor meets the wall. Next, I'm going to create some layers to my card. So I'm going to bring in a couple different die sets from Missing Stamps, which I'll have linked in the description box below. And then I brought in a die to create an opening so that I can make an interactive slider for my cake to slide back and forth across the card front. So I went ahead and I cut that out of my wallpaper piece. In order to make my cake slide in the channel that I just die cut, I'm going to bring in a dime and a piece of foam tape. And I'm going to attach my cake image to the dime using the foam tape with the panel in the middle. Next, I wanted to make it look like my cake was floating off the cake plate and across the panel, so I just used some wood grain cardstock to create a counter. 
then once I had the counter in place, I went ahead and used some more foam tape to add the cake plate. Next, I'm going to double up some foam tape and add an extra channel on the back of the card so the dime can stay in place. And then I'm going to use an anti-static tool to remove any sticky adhesive on the edge. Next, I'm going to use the stitched rectangle from this die set to create my main A2 size panel. And I also use a scalloped rectangle die to create one more layer. Next, I'm going to start attaching my layers, as well as adding in the background piece that I die cut out for my channel. For my sentiment, I'm going to use the Let's Have Cake stamp, and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that right onto the bottom of my panel. I also decided to add the happy birthday sentiment and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that onto a piece of white cardstock and trim that out into a banner shape and add that to the top of the panel. And here is the finished card, and we can see our little elf levitating this cake across the room with some magic. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!